baby, 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 baby. All right, y'all. It's Trauma Pounds. You already know Team Trauma, Versetti, the Versetti family. Um, we doing these questions. I just got, I got a, f a few, a few people to send me some questions that they wanted answered. We have, you know, you could, you had the choice of a one to five music related, and you also had a choice of one to five. Uh, random questions and um, alright first question comes from Izzy Marie that's I-Z-Z-Y M-A-R-I-E off Facebook and she said why do you like rapping stranger stranger well you know I'm not a stranger you know you can get to know me anytime um, but I like rapping because I mean for one I've been doing it since I was a child two it just is it's really my way of expressing myself you know I mean I'm a I have a lot of people in my life, as everybody who knows me knows, but then again, you know, I'm pretty much, I'm on some lonely shit, really, so it's like, rapping is like my, that's my voice to the world, it's my way of expressing myself, it's one of the best things I do, and if you got something that you do best, do it, do it every day, all day, and get better at it. Um, the next question comes from Rosita Coronado from Facebook, that's R-O-S-I-T-A-C-O-R-O-N-A-D-O. She said, when did you start music? Well, I started wanting to do music when I was in elementary school. I started I started wanting to do music when I was about, uh, I used to want to be an actor first. I still want to act, but I mean, I started really wanting to do rap thing when I listened to Ludacris Word of Mouth. So go look up the year of that album, and that's, yeah, that's when I really started wanting to rap. Ah, uh, damn, that, that light is bright, but it's all good. We're going to stick through it. Um... But I really started. I started recording when I was when I was about. I didn't start actually recording my shit till I was about, I think, 15. Um, what made me want to do it is a. Uh, I mean, I was you know as as a kid in America, you don't really look up to the to the preacher that you go to sh see on every Sunday. You don't look up to your teacher. You don't look up to anybody but rappers. So it's. I mean, I guess it was only natural that you know in the environment I was in, all the things I seen as a as a very young child that a lot of other young children didn't see, that you know what I'm saying. Um, I guess that eventually had an influence on the simple fact that I also was raised around a lot of different types of music. So it made me want to do music. And the person who's holding the camera right now, by the way, not to go off topic, is my sister. She knows my dad. And before my parents were divorced, my dad. You know, Brandon. You know, dad is a. He listened to all types of shit. So, I mean, um, it's like that, that really kind of made me want to do music was to, was to be like the people who I, I used to look up to, which was the rappers at, the, at that time in that, in that present state. And, um, and I just loved hip hop. Like I've always been a, you know saying, big hip hop head. You know, some people love video games, some people love shoes, I love hip hop. Um, the next question she had was, what kind of music do you like the most? Obviously, you know, rap, hip hop, but I, I'm very, very diverse in my music. Um, only thing I don't like listening to all day is like, you know, saying techno shit. My sister's more into that. Ain't you, ain't you, Brianna? Mm -hmm. um, the next person was ABZ12. That's her Twitter name. This is a Twitter. Twitterer. And it's at capital A Y E, capital B E E Z Y 12. She said, why did you diss Drake? I guess she saw my diss video. It wasn't a diss to Drake. I, I used to be a really big Drake fan, but um, I don't like to see rappers who, you know what I'm saying, they start off really original and going, you know, doing one thing, and then they get into the game, and they just go with this whole script. And I felt like that's what Drake did, and that's what he's doing. And um, I feel like he kind of fell off. And that, that really wasn't a diss to Drake. And it was straight up, you know, saying it was pretty much me expressing myself to Drake. If I was in Young Money or in his camp, that's what I would have told him verbally, maybe without lyrics. I would have told him that to his face, yo, this is what you need to stop, all right? But that was my way of saying it through music. Like I said, I expressed myself through music. I didn't diss him. Still got love for you, Drake. Um, the next one comes from at... Cali underscore four man, all of that is cut, uh, lowercase. She said, Who are my top five artists? All right, this is not in any order, but um, Lil Wayne, Chip the Ripper, uh, Jay Z, Kanye, damn. And as for number five, ah, shit, I want to say Kid Cudi. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna name three more Kid Cudi, um, my nigga, Game, or I would say 50, um, 
those are the top five artists of all time if you ask me as far as just rap shit go i mean it goes down the list you know you got wiz snoop you know niggas like that but i mean yeah those are my top five she said the next one was who do you think is better jay-z or kanye ah i'm gonna go with uh matter of fact brina who do you think is better kanye kanye it is and the reason why I let her answer that question is because how do you answer that question? Like, you know what I'm saying? How do you answer that? How do you answer that? Uh, the next one that she also asked was, is music your life? You fucking right. You damn right. That's all I think about. Besides pussy, money, God, and you know a couple other things, music. What do you think? Her next question, my bad. What do you think about music today? It's going down the drain. At the same time, it's 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 rebuilding itself and it's uh, reinventing itself. I feel like music is um is highly commercial these days. A lot of fakes, a lot of uh, industry bred mother, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's where I think music is going. I think really what, what, what I think about music today is I think I'm music today. I'm gonna be the next music tomorrow. How about that? She said, um, who is my number one supporter? God, I mean, he keeps me alive to do anything I do. You know what I'm saying, all day. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? can't see five years but where did I see myself in five years I would say hopefully um, taking my mom back to Hawaii even though we haven't been there I'm just saying you know we've already let's say we get rich in the next five years taking her back to Hawaii again for another trip you know maybe getting off the uh, private jet going being escorted in a Maybach a 2018 Maybach uh, yeah uh, what is your favorite childhood movie What's your favorite childhood movie, Ren? I don't know. My favorite childhood movie. I want to say Polar Bear, not Polar Bear Express. What's the name of the movie? Polar Express? Is that what it's called? Yeah. But that didn't come out when I was a child. But I think that's the best movie ever. Like, period. But, um, favorite childhood movie I'll never forget, I guess, was Toy Story. Because sometimes I still slick watch it when ain't nobody looking. But, um, yeah. What is the weirdest but funniest thing you've ever done? Everything. Cause all I do is weird and funny shit. At school, I'm a weird and funny nigga. Everybody loves me. Not everybody. A lot of people hate me because I'm very obnoxious sometimes. What is something people don't know about you? Um. I would say one thing. I'm just gonna. This is just one thing y'all don't know. A lot of people don't know is I love Madonna, and I have a crush on a dead woman. Who honestly, if she was still alive right now, she'd be a grandma. Her name is Marilyn Monroe. Next is uh, <laughs> this next one comes from at the real blondie. That's capital T H E. No, my bad. It's capital T, lowercase H E, capital R E A L, capital B L O N D I E E. And she says, "What would you do if we had to live together for three months? Do you think we could hit it off?" Um, we had to live together for three months. What would I do? Uh, I guess I would just, I would just treat you like my wife. And, uh, I guess I would just, I would just strive for another three months after that. And maybe when, when that three months comes, another three months after that. And maybe after that, maybe another three months. And just keep it going like that. And what's, what was that? You think, we, hell yeah, we could hit it off. You know, we could hit a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> The next one she says is, who do you think do it better, white or black girls? Black girls, come on now. I'm not even going to the definition for that. When do you plan on having kids and getting married? When I'm um, old enough to take care of some kids, when I'm not a kid anymore, and when I got money to take care of the kids and the wife. Um, you know, broke marriages usually don't last. What type of girls do you talk, do you talk to? Um... My type of girl is a girl who can appreciate herself, appreciate me, and appreciate arts, talents, you know, the finer things in life. And I'm not just talking, when I say finer things, I don't mean a girl who's into like Louis or Gucci or Bentleys and shit like that. I mean like a girl who who pretty much isn't boring. Um, a girl who, we can sit there and talk music for hours. She's into art, tattoos, whatever, you know. So a girl who just, she has more to offer than just, you know, basic conversation and sex, you know what I'm saying? Um, when having, <laughs> all right, Brianna, ignore this question. When having sex, how do you make the girl wet? Um, y'all are lucky my sister just turned 14, or I'd have to discard that question. 
<laughs> what do you? Hey, what's up with that noise? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> shit. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. When I, whenever, to keep a girl wet or get it, to get the girl wet. Um, me personally, I'm not trying to brag or sound like a player or anything like that. But I was sexually experienced from an early age, so I know a little bit more than a lot of niggas, and I definitely know hot spots on the body that you know everybody thinks it's just the neck or the chest or lower back there's there's certain areas that you know if they're touched or rubbed or even scratched the right way licked or kissed the right way um they're guaranteed to keep her to keep her wet and coming back for more um and yeah and yeah definitely eat that pussy if she if she's all willing for it she's all down for it um when i say she's down for it you know any girl gonna be down for it i mean like make sure that she's uh you know what i'm saying a girl who is worthy of her pussy being eight and uh yeah that wraps up these uh 20 questions you know what i'm saying y'all follow me on twitter at trauma pounds team trauma versetti you know what i'm saying follow my nigga jericho jace follow my nigga driscoll hte the whole hustle team hustle team j come on Brian, let's walk you know what i'm saying let's keep this video rolling how many minutes we got on there so far 11 11 that's cool that's cool it'll get chopped down yeah, and um, shout out to to the camera girl. Oh, we shot a we shot a little bit of a video today for Serenity's Oxygen. Tommy Versetti, the mixtape coming out. Um, shout out to Jasmine Smith. She made this very interesting for me. Shout out to the whole team trauma. Shout out to all the trauma mamas out there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who supports me, I love you, and I mean that from the heart. I love you. I love you to death. You can hit the cam. You can hit the camera off now when you're ready.